An asteroid three times bigger than Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza is hurtling towards Earth. We're finding them all the time. If you look about four videos back, you'll see a very serious revelation by astronomers. It's a serious warning of more interstellar comets bound for Earth and that we will get many more of these because uh, there is something close to our solar system that is spitting them out at us. They think it's a new type of a star or solar system that is not yet well formed and coagulated and that these things are being, as it's spinning, they're being spit out and they're coming into us. And they think that they will only uh, increase. And that's called serious warning of more interstellar comets inbound for Earth. Get ready for more. And I'll leave a link below for you for that. It's very important for you to know. We remember that the last one was found the beginning of August by an amateur astronomer, Yenadi Borisov from Crimea. And there's a lot of these things that are found by amateur astronomers. In fact, the space agencies have asked for them to volunteer to examine their images because the artificial intelligence, the AI, can't do it as well as human eyes can. But this is a new body coming out of us. Currently, there are five asteroids moving in the direction of our planet that are being closely tracked. Even though NASA stated earlier there is no asteroid on collision course with Earth, within the next 100 years. Look, you know, uh, they don't see all of them. Just like they didn't find this interstellar comet coming. They said uh, they don't have telescopes that go that far down towards the horizon. Well, there you go. This is where most of them are coming from, it seems. Behind the sun or near, near the sun. NASA is currently tracking a giant potentially hazardous asteroid expected to zoom close to Earth this week. Due to the asteroid's speed and massive size, it packs an impressive punch, devastating consequences if it were to strike Earth, of course, according to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CNEOs. The approaching asteroid is known as 523934, 1998 FF14, the classified, classified as an Apollo asteroid. Asteroids of this class are known for having a very wide orbit around the Sun and the Earth. On occasion, an asteroid's orbit intersects with that of Earth as the planet travels around the giant star. Now, due to the asteroid's close intersection with Earth's orbit, 1998 FF14 was labeled by CNEOs as potentially hazardous. Potentially hazardous asteroids are currently defined based on parameters that measure the asteroid's potential to make threatening close approaches to Earth. This is what CNEOs explains, and they say specifically all asteroids with a minimum orbit intersection distance of MOID of 0.05 astronomical units or less than an absolute magnitude of 22 or less are considered PHAs, or potentially hazardous asteroids. This particular space rock has an estimated diameter of about 1,410 feet. That's the size of three Egyptian pyramids. Calculations show the asteroid to be zooming at a speed of almost 50,000 miles an hour. That's tremendously fast. Unlike smaller asteroids, typically exploding mid-air, 1998 FF14 scientists claim this massive object will most likely go through Earth's atmosphere. In case of an impact, such an enormous space rock could potentially create a crater several miles wide and flatten an area as big as a city. CNEOs noted that Earth is not currently in danger of getting hit by the rock, which is on course to approach Earth uh, the uh, late September. Now, During this time, the asteroid will be about 0.0278 astronomical units or roughly 2.6 million miles away. NASA is following a total of five asteroids now heading towards Earth, and luckily they are not on a collision course with our planet. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.